Hi, I'm Morgan from the very unofficial travel guides, and today we're visiting the Internorga Convention in Hamburg. I realize that this isn't exactly like a tourist destination, but I know that a lot of you will be interested in it because you like to talk about food and drinking, and this is all about food and drinking. It's basically the convention for the restaurant and catering industry. And if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you know that every Friday is Food and Drink Friday. So if you're interested in food and drinks, then be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram to see more food and drinks on Food and Drink Friday. To give you an idea of how big this convention is and how many vendors are here, it takes up all of these buildings. That's a lot of free food to get through. <laughs> Snack number one. A little mini donut. The struggle here is that the duty of the people who are sent here to these stands to work is they're trying to find customers to buy, you know, like thousands of mini donuts to then sell in their restaurant or at the fair or whatever. They're not looking for people like us. We're just here for a free snack. So it involves a little bit of BSing in order to get a full stomach, but snack number one. That didn't take long. Snack number two, Italian ice cream. Haven't tried it yet because I can't eat and film at the same time. That's the Gelato World Cup happening behind me. It's interesting walking around here because it's not just about the food, it's about um, everything that you need to run a restaurant or a catering business. So they've got uniforms and they've got all the the big ovens and cooking devices and stuff like that and they've got decorations and tables, chairs, all that kind of stuff. But we're mostly here for the free food so let's see what else we can get. Poppers. I'm now trying a liqueur that's called Ficken, which is the German word for f***ing. That's how you know it's classy. Tastes fruity, a little bit of carbonation to it. I don't know, it tastes good, but it doesn't make me want to Not yet, maybe I just need a few more. Well, that was interesting. We we are just walking past this wine stand, I guess you could call it, this little wine hut. This man asked us if we wanted to try a, a wine tasting. So we sat down and tried three or four wines that he was offering, I guess. He made us an offer at the end for, I think it was four cases of wine of three different kinds for around 230 euros, which is, you know, like around $260. And I mean, the wines were good, but I just couldn't justify spending that much money on a couple cases of wine because I don't drink wine all that often, but at least we got some free wine. Now if I could just find some cheese. vegetarian pudding was good. I am, um, as you probably know, if you follow me, I am a vegetarian. I have been for, gosh, over 20 years. Yeah, over 20 years, more like 25 years. And uh, Alpro is a company that I've bought a lot of products from. So I buy their soy milk and their soy rice milk and their soy cream and stuff like that. So just wanted to give a shout out. Maybe they can send me some free stuff, huh? More cheese, don't mind if I do. Vegetarian nuggets. I guess we found the vegetarian spot. I'm finishing up a veggie fish stick right now. 
and it's been a long time since I've tasted a real fish stick, but it tasted pretty good. Marcus said it tasted about 60% real, so that's not bad. Frothy whipped cherry milk. Tastes like a milkshake. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Now I've got more cheese. I don't even know where to begin. It's a good day. We got some cheesy potatoes now, but more interesting to me than the cheesy potatoes is this cute little pork. Look at how cute it is. It's just so little. And look at the cute little spoon, it's so cute. I should keep it and put it on together with my cute little fork. So if you're like me, you might be asking yourself, vegan tea? There's no meat in tea, what's the deal with that? But they explained to us that a lot of times, soft drinks like teas and stuff like that, they're filtered with gelatin. And gelatin, as you know, is made of bones. Interesting enough, there is such a thing as vegan tea and vegan wine, where there's no animal products used at all in the making or brewing of it. And that's why it's vegan tea. And I have to tell you, it tastes it pretty good. I'm here at the, the Biddle stand and they offer this mojito liqueur. And we tried it pure and it tastes really good and now we're trying it with ginger ale. Really, really good. I'm here at the Beluga Vodka stand and they were nice enough to invite us in and let us try some of their really high-class vodka. They've got several different kinds here. We're drinking it pure, which sounds really hard, but I have to say, this vodka is really good. When you drink it, you taste the alcohol. You know, there's that little bit of warm burn, but it's, it turns into like an intense flavor. It doesn't like continue burning down your throat. Burn is the wrong word. It's just like a, a very comfortable, warm flavor feeling. It's available at Duty Free and it's also available worldwide, not just in Europe. And they were nice enough to give me this Beluga uh, Moscow Mule aluminum cup and I want to give it away. So all you have to do to be entered in the drawing to win this cup is like the Facebook page from Beluga Vodka, the link is below, and then show me that you liked it on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, and you'll be entered in the drawing to win this cup. So one lucky person is gonna win this, and just keep watching my upcoming videos and you'll see who it was. And now I'm gonna finish my vodka. Look at this, it's just like Club Cool at Epcot, except more flavors. Here we are again in front of the cocktailbox.com stand. It's a mobile cocktail bar that's sort of automated. In a way, I guess kind of like on the quantum of the seas, a little bit less technology, but basically you press a button and the machine mixes it all together. So I get to try it out and see how it works. That is really cool. And can you imagine, you can you know, rent that for like a private party. If you don't want it to be free, you can give everybody a card and then they just have to scan their card and then at the end of the night they pay sort of like, like when you're on a ship or, or like magic bands at Disney. I think it's a really, really cool idea. And thanks for the free drink. I know this is hard to believe, but I'm seriously getting pretty close to the point where I don't want to eat anything anymore right now. It's all been so good, but it's just so many different things all together. So I think I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm Morgan from the very unofficial travel guides. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Don't forget to go and like the Beluga Vodka 
Facebook page and let me know that you liked it so you can be entered in the drawing for that cool cup. Check back every weekend for a new travel related video and always check my Facebook and Instagram on Fridays for Food and Drink Friday. See you soon.